everyone. Welcome to Trade Happy. My name's Jacob. I just wanted to do a little quick uh, intro, I guess, to this video, just because uh, we have launched the group trading, and this is one of the sessions from the group mentoring. And this was a little uh, recording that Hassan had done, um, and we thought it was really good to put it up onto YouTube for you guys to learn. Um, if you are interested in any group mentoring, one-to-one -one sessions or a forex course make sure to check out uh, tradehappy.co.uk um, everything is on there or you can join the public discord group just check the description below all of the links are in there as well um, so yeah let's get into this video um, and Hassan's going to be doing some group mentoring um, so take notes enjoy and happy trading guys uh, very similar to pound dollar and um, we was pushing up and then now what we've had is two uh, potential uh, bearish days and now we just kind of got an indecision day and we're just sitting around um, not doing much so I'm neither really buy bias or sell bias at the moment um, I know on a lower time frame this is going to be a little bit of ranging market or some sort of consolidation so let's look to see if we can get a better bias on the lower time frame. As you can see, uh, we was pushing up. Okay, we was trending to the upside on the four hour. And now we've pushed down breaking our last previous outside return level, which is here. Hold on, just get my tool. Um, and we do have a level here. So we've come right into this level and we push back up now there is a potential reversal pattern here which is a head and shoulders pattern so if we hold this level right in here and we push down then i will definitely be looking for potential sell bias on this market but again we have to wait and see if we break this level um to the upside then I'll be looking for um, a, a pull back into this sort of range and then a buying opportunity up into this sort of high level here. But we will need to see what happens. Um, let's go to a lower time frame and see if we can maybe get anything like a clearer view. Yeah, so you can see this level's held. All right. Um, lovely structure level. We put in a lower, low, lower closed candle. Now, I'll just go back to the higher time frame. I just want to confirm that. Yeah, we could potentially take a selling opportunity here. Okay, I've kind of missed my entry because ideally what I would have liked to see after this level got hit was a um, entry on this lower, low, lower closed candle. But what's happened is, is we've missed that entry and we are currently sitting at it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark this trade out. Okay, for a potential selling opportunity. Um, and then what we'll do is we get stops above the high. Now, can we get a good risk to reward down at these lows here? Yes, we can. So there's a one-to-one -one, um, trading opportunity. Now, with such a large candle, <clears throat> I am expecting a bit of a pullback. Okay, a little bit of a pullback in. Um, and then maybe a bit of a rest. And then a push down to these levels but there's nothing saying that we can't actually push down from this level um straight down to our um level we identified of support to the left so there's a potential setup um we'll leave that on our charts and see what happens right euro dollar we already placed this trade okay so this trade is in profit by a little bit if I um, get into 50% of my target, then I am going to move to break even. Okay, let's just let's just do a dotted line on the 50% here. Okay, um, we'll just drop in, just drop in a line right here. Take that off. I'm actually going to, you know what I'll do? Add a look. Let's add an alert. And let's actually take that away. So now we've got an alert there. 50% of the move. 
if we push down and we hit that then um good to go for break even and then we'll just let the rest of it run so trade's looking nice at the moment i am expecting a pullback at some point and then a carry on uh, to the downside uh, got that lovely double top for confirmation we didn't actually put Bolling did we put bollinger band on this to check look at that lovely okay first test outside within our resistance level second test inside um ideally if we got in on this low 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 closed candle that would have been perfect perfect setup by now we would have definitely hit targets but it is what it is um we took this on the higher time frame i believe yeah because we pulled into structure and then that low 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 close candle setting opportunity to the downside perfect lovely 